Hello and welcome to this series uh, on ARM assembly language. Uh, the goal of this uh, course is to uh, be able to write assembly instructions and understand how these instructions interact with the hardware and the implications behind specific instructions. So uh, by the end of uh, this series, I hope that you know how to write code and understand what the code is doing behind the scene and how that all translates into binary. So to do that, uh, I brought down uh, or broke down the, the series into four main sections. Uh, the first one is simply an introduction to the ARM assembly. Uh, we'll have a basic introduction. Uh, then we'll talk about basic code sections. Uh, we'll talk about memory, uh, how to look at uh, the content in memory and how to understand what it means. We'll talk about the directives, the basics of the directives. We'll talk about uh, space allocation for variables. There are different ways to do that. Uh, we'll talk about specific uh, other directives, the skip and fill. There's also a couple more. Uh, we'll talk about the align directive. Uh, we'll talk about code control and macros. Um, this will not be a comprehensive list of directives, uh, but rather a few that are uh, more or less uh, that serve as sample of what do you expect uh, in the totality or the, the totality of the directives that you can see in ARM assembly. And then after that, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the ARM architecture itself, uh, maybe more of a technical perspective. Um, you know, the basics, you know, you know, the buses and the registers, special registers, uh, general purpose registers, and, and uh, how, how ARM actually uh, uh, load uh, uh, immediate values into these registers, how these values can be generated. Um, we'll talk about addressing mode. Uh, there are several. Uh, we'll talk about a few. And then moving on, uh, we'll talk about uh, ARM instructions that allow you to uh, deal with data, uh, basically loading data from memory and storing data back into memory. There are multiple ways of doing this. Uh, you can, for example, uh, you can load and store a byte and or you can load and store a word. Uh, so different size of data, quote unquote, chunks that you can work with. Uh, we'll talk about uh, data processing instructions. So these are the instructions that allow you to perform arithmetic, uh, logical, and comparison operation on the data. Uh, we'll talk about branching instructions. How do you branch from, let's say, your uh, line of code to a, uh, let's say, for a subroutine or a loop somewhere else, and then you branch back to your original program. Uh, we'll talk about code control. Uh, code control that allows you to, for example, branch or execute a specific instruction under a specific circumstance uh, or special circumstances, right? Then we'll have special instructions and pseudo instructions. We'll talk about those as well. Um, and uh, eventually we'll, we'll get into manual or hand assembly. And the goal here is to learn how the instructions that you write uh, in assembly, how do they get translated into hex values and basically binary that the CPU understands? So uh, we'll do a lot of examples here. Um, I would mention though that um, we will focus on the ARM v7 uh, uh, version of the ARM architecture and the assembly. Uh, and as of references, there is quite a bit of information out there you can uh, that you can look up yourself i'll try to provide as much as i can um, but i'll tell you uh that a lot of the information i gathered uh were from the arm uh technical reference manual um from the or the arm v7 tdmi technical reference manual uh from the arm uh uh, uh architecture actually uh, uh, documents for example there there are one uh, there's there's a technical reference manual for the cortex a9 that's uh, there is another one that is uh, just the arm architecture reference manual so these are like different documents some of them could be over 2000 pages 
um, you don't have to read the whole thing. I'll try to, again, uh, curate some of this information so it will be helpful for you. Um, I don't have a direct link for all of them, but uh, all of this doc, all of these documents are uh, available on the ARM website. And as uh, simple as typing uh, ARM programmer's guide, for example, uh, or ARM v7 programmer manual will get you to a lot of links that take you to the ARM website with a lot of um, information. Uh, some of these documents, uh, I'll have them here listed. So you have the, again, the ARM architecture reference manual, uh, the ARM 7 TDMI technical reference manual, uh, the Cortex-A series programmer's guide, uh, and then the uh, new uh, assembler manual. Uh, and then for the tools I'm going to use, uh, you can actually select almost any of these. Uh, I'll be I'll be using mostly the Altera Intel Monitor program uh, that comes with the DE1 SOC uh, uh, board. Um, I'm gonna write it here. Uh, this is a tool that allows you to basically tap into a physical uh, CPU, a physical Cortex uh, core on the board and you can download the code to it and investigate the memory content and all that. Um, there is a series of uh, lectures um, on this YouTube channel that you can uh, watch to see how to set that up. Uh, there is another tool that is called the CPU Later. It's a CPU emulator that also has a list of um, uh, options to simulate. One of them is actually simulating a generic uh, ARM v7 architecture. Um, another simulator uh, that you can use probably is the ARM Sim, uh, and the last one is the ARM Keel uh, Studio. Uh, obviously, these are four different ways that you can simulate your code. They have different ways to set them up. Uh, we're not going to go into um, all the details for all of them. I do have, again, uh, a couple of uh, lectures on YouTube to show you how to set up the Altera or the Intel monitor program to use with the DO and SOC. Uh, the second choice I would say is the CPU later. It's an online emulator. You don't need to set up anything. Uh, it can. It actually does a pretty good job uh, for simulating an ARM v7 or version 7. Uh, that is very close to what you have on the DE1 SOC board. Um, and that's it. Um, we'll go and start with the uh, the first lecture.